Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a job vacancy which has been posted by FSSAI that is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Uh, and the post is quite old, like uh, it was posted uh, 10 days back, 10 to 12 days back. But still the last date is away. We have quite a few days to fill the form. The last date is still 12th of November. So that's why I'm making this video to make you guys aware about it. To inform you about it and it's a very good opportunity in case if you are finding a job uh, in chemistry okay and specifically when you don't uh, want to go for research field these are some fields in which you can try your luck out right so like food and like uh, food safety and a food safety officer and these jobs are quite relevant and quite good jobs after masters in chemistry okay so yeah i'll be talking about everything in detail in this video i'll be discussing about what is the syllabus of it uh, how you can apply for it what is the minimum eligibility criteria everything will be done in detail if you want to read out or if you want to watch some specific section of the video you can go through the timestamps uh, given in the description of this video also i would like to thank ruchira for providing all the information thank you ruchira for this a big shout out to you now without wasting any time let's continue with our video Alright, so this is the job profile or, or you can say job section of the FSSAI website. Uh, I'll give you a link to reach out to this page directly because the official website also you can search out but this is a direct link. So you can directly come to this page where all the advertisements are given. You have to scroll a little bit down to this particular post here which says that uh, information dated 30th September. Uh, related to direct recruitment of advertisement number DR4-2021 for the post of food analyst, technical officer, central food safety officer, assistant manager, assistant manager, uh, IT and all. So this is the one which you have to focus on, okay, the first, second and third post according to what it is right now. The date you have to remember that it's it was published on 2nd of October, okay. Here if you click on this advertisement number this, you will be able to read out the complete advertisement. Here if you go, uh, here is the syllabus for this and here you can go and apply online. Okay, so I'll, I have downloaded that advertisement and I have marked down the important things over here. So I'll be discussing only important things and especially I'll be like I'll be more resonating towards the chemistry part. I'll be only discussing about the important po point of this advertisement from the chemistry point of view, right? Okay, so this is the post for the various posts of Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. Let's come a little down over here. Last date to apply online is 12th of November as I told you and the website has opened from 13th of October itself. Cutoff will be given on 12th of uh, November itself and uh, tentative date of availability of download of admit card and tentative date of CBT means computer based test. And the other things will be decided or will be published later on by FSSAI. Okay, let's go a little down for the uh, like for the age limit. Okay, so this is the detail of the post. In short, they have given. I have highlighted the three of them, which are more relevant from the chemistry point of view. So, food analyst, technical officer, and central food safety officer. These three jobs are the one which have minimum eligibility criteria, which resonate around chemistry people. So there are total four posts, 125 post and 37 post, which makes a big number over here. It is not just one or two post, which generally comes for chemistry people. It's a, it's a big number, right? It's all in all, like to be very precise, 166 posts are there. Out of which these four posts will be uh, not that relevant. I'll discuss about it later. Okay, fine. This is category wise vacancy. So you can see that up to what category, like for what category, how much vacancy is there. That also you can see. So this is about it, right? Let's come a little down now for the other information. The other thing is that scheme of examination that how the examination will be done. So for food analyst, written test plus interview will be done. For technical officer, uh, CBT based test stage one and CBT based uh, test stage two. So there will be two tests done, stage one and stage two. When you qualify both the stages, then the weightage will be added like 50% from the stage 1, 50% from the stage 2 and then the final merit will be made for both of them, for food security officer also and for technical officer also. For both of them, this is how it will be done. 
shortlisted candidate for cbt stage 2 will be done when you have qualified stage 1 and a ratio of 1 is to 20 will be shortlisted that means if one seat is there 20 students will be selected okay means for one seat 20 people will fight that's what it is if let's say there are 100 seat so around 2000 people will be selected because one seat 20 people okay so that's the ratio which they have kept and for the interview they have said ki a ratio of 1 is to 5 will be shortlisted means for one uh, seat five people will be selected so if there are 10 seats 50 will be selected it goes like that okay so that is about it let's come a little down for the reservation and relaxation so here is the reservation section you can read about it in detail because here it is specified that for what uh, like category and for what if you belong to a person with benchmark disability then for what kind of disability how much uh, like reservation is being provided so everything is given uh, in this particular section so you can read about it i will give you like i have told you how you can download so please go through this section uh, that will be if if it is relevant to you okay age relaxation is something which we should know so there is a five year of age relaxation for sc and st candidates for obc candidates three years of age relaxation is given person with benchmark disability uh, is given 10 years of your age relaxation if a person with benchmark disability comes under sc category also sc or st category then 15 years of uh, age relaxation and if it comes under obc category then 10 plus 3 that is 13 year of uh, age relaxation if someone is ex serviceman then 3 year of deduction of the military service rendered from the actual age as on the closing date if someone is widow or uh, divorced woman in that case up to 35 year of age she can apply and uh, if she belongs to SCST category, then in that case up to 40 years uh, that can apply. Okay, so these are the age relaxations which are given to you. Okay, there are certain points which you should actually go for and you have to read it. If you belong to any of these category, you should be very precise with all these things. Okay, let's talk about the name of the post and what are the eligibilities against them. Okay, so first post is food analyst. I showed you there are four posts of it and the educational and other qualification include masters in chemistry or biochemistry or microbiology or dairy chemistry there are so many things but the most relevant is that you need masters in chemistry but but here is one additional thing which is required that it has at least three years of experience in the analysis of food and it has been declared for the qualification of appointment as food analyst by the board appointed and notified by the authority so these four posts are going to be for someone who has already done work in this same field so for a fresher for someone who has just passed out masters this these four posts are not for him okay for that person the next 125 posts are there that is this uh, technical officer so in this technical officer again the educational qualification which is required is master's degree from recognized university of institution in chemistry or biochemistry or food technology or food science and technology and all the subjects are given or if he has done PG diploma in any one, at least one year duration in the food safety or food science or food processing or quality assurance, all these subjects are given. If you fall under any of them, then you are eligible for it. Or if you have done BE or BTEC in food technology, dairy technology, biotechnology or oil technology in any of the subjects which are mentioned over here, then again, you are eligible for this. So technical officer is the post where a lot of fight will be done. A lot of people are eligible for this and a lot of post is also there 125 post are there okay next is central food safety officer uh, for this 37 post were there and it, this also requires degree in food technology or dairy technology or biotechnology or oil technology or agricultural science all the things are there and you also are eligible if you have done master's degree in chemistry then also you are eligible for it or if you have done uh, from any central university any other equivalent course from the central university then also you are eligible so for chemistry there were three posts as i said but the first post the first food analyst is for those who have some experience second and third post are the one which are for the freshers who have done just done masters they can also apply for it so i hope this is clear that who can actually apply for it coming down the next other posts are also given their details are given but since they don't fall under chemistry so i am just including them Examination centers because computer based test is going to be conducted in stage one and stage two both. So that's why now you need to know that where you have that center. So these are all the city names you can see on the screen. Just check it out if your city falls under it. So there are 103 cities over here in this list. 
obviously one or the other city from your city or the city nearby to you will obviously fall in it so just check it out if your city falls in it or not then after stage one you will also give a stage two right once you qualify stage one stage two cbt will be done for them the centers are like reduced they are just 24 centers for it but again check it out that which center falls over here because you have to fill in the form like while filling the form you have to choose the center also right syllabus syllabus is given in a different post as i told you i will show you the syllabus also don't worry about that okay then there are some general instructions and if you come little down over here in this then there are all these forms okay forms for the caste certificate forms for uh, the person with uh, like uh, benchmark disability certificate all the certificates which are there and whatever relaxation they are providing for all of them they have form they have certificate form so if you have not made the form yet if you don't have updated form you have to download this you have to take a print of it and get these formed made in this particular format basically all these formats are your central government format of those certificate let's say if the form is for uh, obc certificate over here right this form is for obc certificate this comes under the central government uh, way how they like central government provides this obc certificate okay that performer they are actually following so if you already have uh, the certificate obc certificate in this format then you don't have to do it but if you don't have just get it done okay before your uh, like cbt and the other tests are being done all right so just check it out all the forms are here whatever form is required all the forms are over here okay so you can download whatever form is required and you can get it filled i'll talk about the syllabus now okay the syllabus is here okay yeah fine so this is the syllabus now as i said this food analyst is only for those people who have some uh, like experience so you can read about the syllabus the syllabus is also huge for them and i'm not going to do that because most of you will be resonating around this technical officer and the food and uh, safety officer so we will discuss about the syllabus of them so technical officer uh, they have the exam format as it is said 180 minutes will be given for the cbt based test 120 mcqs will be given four marks will be given for each correct answer and one mark will be detected for each wrong answer okay that's what it is no options here this is how it will be done uh, the part a of the paper will consist of 40 questions and they will include general aptitude in which general intelligence will be test general awareness english language and computer literacy all these four things will be tested in part a of the exam okay now it's similar to your csr net exam just like in csr net you have part b part c and part c right uh, part part a part b and part c in the same way here also you have that so part a general aptitude part part b will be functional knowledge and indicative syllabus here the syllabus deals with the uh, like international food laws F ssai roles okay all these things comes under over here um, yeah so this will test the your knowledge of food and safety uh, like whatever you have studied about it so from where to study and other things uh, you can uh, like search about it you can just see the course over here and just just copy it search it on google one by one you can re read about them okay fsss rules and regulations just read them what are the rules and regulations so these are the things like how much you know about them that's what it is so it's like just preparation of one month or two months for the exam okay coming down over here central food safety officer again uh, this is also somewhere where chemistry was required and again they, it will also have computer based test again 180 minute will be given means three hours 120 question four marks for the correct one marks for the negative uh, like one negative marks again is it also consists of part a and part b part a will have similar syllabus as for the technical officer same syllabus here and part b consists of your indian and international food law so again part b is also quite similar to what you have in the technical officer so if you are applying for uh, this post of central food safety officer or if you are applying for the post of technical officer for both of them the syllabus is same okay for the other subjects or for the other uh, like uh, post i'm not reading the syllabus you can download and read them out because we are dealing with the chemistry people here so that's why i'm not reading out the other ones okay all right so this is about it now the thing is ki how to apply it okay or how to apply for this particular post so just the way you have downloaded from here the advertisement the way you downloaded the syllabus from here 
you have this option of apply online if you click here a pop-up will come that this is an external link do you want to continue just press ok i want to continue you will be taken to fssai form filling page okay now here some basic informations are given that uh, okay let me just zoom this a little bit fine so it is say it says that candidates in their own interest are advised to apply and submit application promptly and not wait for the last date so fill the form as early as possible second thing is please retain print out an application of application form for the future references third thing is please do not send hard copy of the application form or any document to the office of fssai okay you don't have to send any hard copy of it all right these are the important dates as i already told you let's come down here it says key uh, read the instructions carefully and select i agree and press start so these are just general instruction you can check them out that what is required let's come down okay something which you need while filling the form is that you need a photograph of yours photograph should be in uh, like uh, passport size photograph color photograph and it should be in the light colored background all right and the size of the scanned image should be between 50 kb to 100 kb don't make mistakes in filling the form i always emphasize this after filling the form you start commenting sir i have done the mistake please don't do that take it seriously read out these things and fill the form with very responsible manner okay don't do mistakes please it's a request next thing is signature image signature image should be done uh, the sign should be done on the white paper with black or blue ball pen both are allowed and the size is again 50 kb to 100 kb then certificate image uh, it says please scan the relevant certificate whatever certificate is required if you belong to obc category belong to SCST category those certificate will be required each certificate in jpeg or jpg or pdf format any of the format is allowed 50 kb to 100 kb is the size of the image which is allowed okay once the application is submitted candidate will be automatically re uh, redirected to pay for the uh, uh, to the sbi payment gateway and you have to deposit the application fees uh, like uh, uh, 1500 is the application fees okay and which is for the general category and for the SCST category or for the reserved category it's 500 rupees so it says whichever is applicable and bank charges will also be included over there you can pay it through any of the mode which they have said and then rest of the thing is pretty same uh, so you can just click over here that I agree and then you can just start filling the form if you have just started it and once you have started and let's say in between you want to like re again like login again so already registered candidate can click here to login so you can go to this okay so but for the first people you have to click here to start again and once you will click you will be taken to the page over here this is how the page will load and close this particular pop-up menu and here all the personal details will be asked just fill it it's a pretty simple form and you don't have anything to do with it okay don't get any problem with it and it says if you get any difficulty you can contact to this help desk so make sure that if you are facing any problem while filling the form you can mail to this help desk or you can call to this phone number okay from 10 a.m to 5 p.m for any assistance so that this is a good opportunity especially if you are not going for research and want to do some job after msc this is it you should go for it and all the best from my side and that's it from my side for this video so make sure you take a like you you take advantage of this opportunity and utilize it in the best manner possible all right so that's it from my side thank you so much for watching this video and i will see in the next one all the best for this exam take care bye bye hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much